I went to a 3D movie last night. I love 3D. Uh, to me, it's uh, realistic entertainment, but it's way more than that. Today's Big Eye, we're going to show you a car that has been designed using a 3D printing method. It's called the Irby. This is it behind me. Now, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense when you say that, because what has printing got to do with designing a car? But first of all, let me just tell you about this car. It's an electric car. Uh, it's powered by both electric and gas motors. It gets 200 miles per gallon on the highway. 100 miles per gallon in the city. This was part of the Progressive Auto X Prize competition. You've heard me talk about the X Prize here. This is being pre uh, presented at the SEMA um, Auto Show in Las Vegas this week. I want to introduce you to the guys behind it. They can explain to me uh, and to all of us together uh, what this is, this 3D printing method is. Jim Core is the project leader of the Irby Project uh, in Las Vegas. Jeff Hansen, they're not from Las Vegas, they're there for SEMA. Jeff Hansen is a development partner of, uh, at Stratasys, uh, also part of the Irby Project. Uh, Jeff, let's just talk about this. Uh, I, I'm having trouble understanding, uh, I sort of get it now after studying it, but what the relationship is between printing and 3D and the development of a car. Sure. It's the process of taking an electronic CAD file and outputting it into a, uh, one of the Stratasys 3D printers and producing a, a 3D model. Okay, CAD file for, for my audience is the software that, that Everybody who designs something uh, in correct. the physical world uses architects use it, builders use it, designers use it. That's correct. So what you do? You've got this. You've got this design, and then what happens? It prints out. What, what is your? What does the device do? Well, the device uh, uh, prints uh, using a, a plastic uh, media, and it uh, uh, layers the uh, uh, material layer by layer, and it and it grows the model uh, until the model is complete. So literally, you're added the fabric. So the word printing is, is sort of a misnomer. This this machine outputs a, a a model of something that was designed. That's correct. How how uh, Jeff? Uh, just tell me a little bit more about the evolution of that process. This has been. I mean, I've seen. I know it's used in other sorts of designing, but this is the first time it's been used in in in, in designing a car. That's correct. We see this as a revolutionary uh, technology that will be growing into manufacturing in the future. It's the process of uh, additive fabrication, uh, building uh, geometries layer by layer to complete the uh, uh, complete 3D model. All right, Jim. What what uh, kind of what this design of this car was important because it has led to a car that is very very fuel efficient, um, a sort of a prototype of the car of the future. Tell me a little bit about the uh, the Irby. Sure. Uh, the Irby started with uh, designing the aerodynamics first and then uh, putting all the stuff inside the car. So uh, we had to start with a body that was extremely aerodynamic. So the first thing we did, here's a picture of the, the, the car or the yeah. model of the car. The first thing we did was we sculptured this body in clay. And uh, that was in the real world so we could kind of touch the shapes. Yep. Then we had it scanned and put it in the computer. Mm -hmm. And once we had the model in the computer, then we had uh, CD Adapo do the aerodynamics on it and make sure that the aerodynamics was correct. Mm -hmm. And once we knew that, we turned it into about 10 different panels, like the doors, the, the front fenders and all that. And then we made this model. This is a rapid prototype model coming from the computer file. So this is the first time we see it in real. And this is quite normal. So, so that is process. the model that is generated by that, that computer file, that CAD but, file that goes through that machine. Yeah. Wow. That's correct. Yep. So this is the first time we see it in the physical world that is, after the that clay That is the model. equivalent of me photocopying something. That's right. That's, That's right. And then, and then the real uh, innovation, if you will, or the new, new thing that's happening is we're going to make these panels now full scale. So they actually become the panels on mm -hmm. the body. And we, and we have a panel to show you. So we're going to show you this uh, quarter panel on the inside yep. here. And here's the, uh, here's the full scale. And, so and this, this was, is uh, so this is put uh, out by this what you are referring to as a printer this 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 unit that that uh, takes the software right. and then creates this thing. This is put out by a machine that does that. That's, that's correct. Right. That's right. This was the 3D printed model. That is absolutely this incredible. Is the, uh, what does this it's do? The same, it's the, Sorry, go keep that up. Keep that up there, Jim. Uh, so you've got this. I mean, it looks to me like the aerodynamics of this thing are, are pretty clear. Without being an engineer myself, it looks like there's nothing to hold the <laughs> to, to sort of confront the wind on this car. Well, this, this is the most uh, aer aerodynamic, practical car that we're aware of. A uh, coefficient of drag of 0.15. And that's why it can that's achieve. Is that the reason why it can achieve 200 miles per hour on the highway and 100 miles in the city, or is it a combination of that and and what? 
it's primarily aerodynamics, but you also need very thin tires, you need a very low weight, and you don't need any excess horsepower, because excess horsepower takes horsepower to carry it along with you. Jeff, uh, is this scalable? Can we be seeing cars designed uh, and, and panels for, for vehicles made uh, using this sort of technology? Is it, is it likely to even be cost effective in the future? Yes, yes, this is scalable. We, we do small components to very, very large components in the aerospace and automotive industries. Wow, excellent, guys. Thanks very much. I mean, this is just hard to wrap your head around that, that, that uh, the, the device that you guys think of as a printer uh, came out with a car and can actually build the components uh, that go onto the body of that car. Great to talk to you both. Jim Corr is the project leader of the Irby Project. Jeff Hansen is the development partner at Stratasys, also part of the Irby Project. You can uh, go to my site, cnn.com slash alley. I've posted the links uh, to their website and the video uh, of that car on my blog.